Hey Alpha Gamers, it is me, the fake gamer who uh, does stuff. Just wanted to show you some work in progress stuff I've been working on. Uh, some of this isn't painted, some of it's mostly painted. Uh, the stuff that's most painted still needs a little bit of uh, blocking, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to just try and show you the big things first and the little guys. So here's something I made. Uh, you can see my dog doesn't like that I'm not giving him attention because I started talking. So here's a T-Rex toy I've had for a while. I'm not sure where I got it. Probably uh, at Walmart or something. And I just decided to make it a big platform. Uh, T-Rex. Um, so, you know, just using a bunch of different craft sticks. You can see he's got... Uh, a feeding tube. This is how they feed their uh, T-Rex when they're out and about uh, adventuring. That's how they... Uh, there we go. Yeah, it, again, this hasn't even been sprayed. I don't know when I'll be able to spray next. If you look underneath his, uh, his wooden beams, you can see a lot of sprue bits that I've used as kind of the harness underneath and a little bit of the supports. Um, this tube, by the way, if you can tell what it is, it's a, a pre-roll weed thing. Because uh, I live in Michigan, it's legal. Uh, another sprue thing here is a little ladder that you can use to get up onto the guy. Um, you know, this is a big, big mini. And then, uh, you know, you can see the front, you know. You can put a guy up here. Uh, you can put guys all over. I think I fit, like damn near a dozen guys in there. I put a little bar here so that you can actually put guys at the entrance uh, without them falling out because I'm not good at making it stable. <laughs> really basic, but you know, big bad motherfucker. There's another big bad motherfucker I did manage to spray and get done earth. Well, not done, but I managed to spray him earlier. Huge Triceratops toy. Oh, so... Someone in the hallway saying weird stuff. Anyways, uh, yeah, it's a huge Triceratops toy that I gave. Yeah, there's always weirdos. Uh, that I gave this platform to. You know, he's got all these trophies all along the boards of the uh, platform on his back. Uh, you know, he's got like, uh, you know, I already showed this off in an earlier video, but you can kind of make out some of the details a little better uh, now that it's all sprayed one color. Uh, you know, so there's that. Uh, here is, uh, the elephant I also did. I can kind of make out some of the details better now that he's all sprayed white. Uh, I've got a bunch of elephants. I gotta make something out of those. I gotta make some baggage elephants, like some that are just literally, they're just, they just got baggage on them. They're not for a really getting on there like for carrying shit. I need to make some alien elephants, I need to make some sapient elephants. I've got so many. Well, anyways, you can see the green stuff. Kinda looks like cloth a little bit. For me that's a pretty good attempt. Uh, and then the the lizard guy I showed earlier. I've painted his base. It's going to be very Martian. He's going to be a Martian reptilian, but uh, yeah, anyways. Now here are some things that I started making a while ago that I haven't touched in a while. This is supposed to be a hill. Like an uneven. It's not. I still have to fill it out and uh, paper mache the fuck out of it, but um, it's supposed to be like a weird Martian hill. It's just the base of one, though. And then when I was figuring out that one of the cultures on my D and D Mars is the Trench Martians, I decided, oh, I'll make a trench out of this uh, fucking food package material from a fast food place. But I gave up. I'm like, this is impossible. But it does make good craters, and so that'll be paper mache, and that'll make a good crater. Um, now I'm going to show you the, the vehicles. Um, here's that Wendy's can uh, UFO that I showed off before. Uh, not painted exactly, but uh, 
you know, it's, uh, it's sprayed at least. Um, you can kind of see the inside. So maybe it's easier to see the inside of it. Like the, uh, you can see the doors and stuff. Uh, now here's one of the vehicles I built. Uh, I think I've upgraded it since I last showed it off. I could be wrong, but it's definitely sprayed now. It's a junk. It's a junky, uh, kind of Martian buggy, like the one that my uh, cousin used in our D and D game. But it's a little bit bigger, and it's got some sort of turret. I think someone said it looked like a flamethrower. Kind of does. Um, you know, just made from different bits of. Uh, you know, shit I had lying around, uh, yeah, just like shit I had lying around, and, uh, there you go, and, uh, bits of toy cars that I'd saved up for a long time, uh, and all sorts of weird shit. I think these, uh, these little wires here are actually, uh, from paper clips. They were the stuff from paper clips that fell off when I was doing stuff. This, I forget what this is from, but I think it's part of uh, the electric parts of some uh, toy car that I used. Uh, luckily, it's it's not, it won't explode or anything. It's not, there's no batteries, so. But, uh, you know, I, I used uh, a lot of parts from uh, one of the circuit boards on one of those toy cars to uh, do some stuff. And uh, you can see it's also biofuel like the other one, so you just put like a baby or like a egg or like an old lady in there and it fuels the buggy because my Mars is sort of a mix between Dark Sun, Barsoom, uh, weird UFOlogy bullshit and uh, uh, what's the other one? Mad Max. So that's kind of how I envision my uh, fantasy Mars. Here's another buggy that I haven't touched in a while. I haven't really finished building it but uh, again using bases from different uh, toy cars that I find, uh, repositioning the parts on the toy car. It's really hard to see because it's not really painted at all, but, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. It'll, it'll turn into something. Here's the buggy, you know, I haven't finished painting it, but the rest of these that I'll show are mostly, uh, painted. Uh, so, you know, just figuring out what kind of color I want to go with the buggy. I figure red would probably be a good color. Uh, obviously, it's got all the Martian rust desert gunk all over it. Uh, he's got, you can kind of see the the, troph the war trophies on the back better. You know, you can see the, the shields and spears. Yeah, you can kind of see those better. Another shield. You can sort of see the animal parts a little bit. You can kind of see that lizard, that lizard head. Tiny kind of bit. But there's all the gunk and... I'm literally just covering the whole thing off my hand, sorry about that. <laughs> but yeah, this is, uh, I'm pretty happy with this. I mean, it's not finished, but hey. Another vehicle I made, which is the uh, these uh, this Martian uh, Martian kind of Raider speeder, right? This is a speeder, uh, but it's Martian bandits basically. And what I figured out is that on board is a uh, a trench Martian, which in my game is a vast civilization of technologically. Uh, advanced, like militarily, technologically advanced, if you got like machine guns and stuff. Uh, people on Mars, who are multiple species, mostly human. And then you've also got this Martian rat man, which is probably an Ahsoki from Pathfinder. Uh, but, you know, I'm pretty happy with uh, how I'm starting to color it out. You know, there needs to be, you know, I need to pick up the, uh, the yellow on the... Uh, yeah, I like the beam there. I want to make sure that looks good. Obviously, it'll get all dusted up, but I want it to. I want the paint to actually be kind of good. And you can see more parts of the uh, car, electric parts—not actual car, but like toy car 
that I used as uh, barrels where my thumb is. There's a lot of those. I'm not sure how I'll paint them up, but uh, there's also a towel backpack in there. <coughs> Next is one of my favorite designs from uh, all of Star Wars, always has been, which is the Tusken Raiders. I love these guys. I would gladly buy a million Tusken Raider miniatures uh, if I had the money, especially if there were that many different sculpts. Oh my god, I would buy them all. Um, and I would have fun painting them too. It would probably take me a billion years. Now again, I haven't finished painting any of these minis, technically. Some of them I have. Like, uh, well actually, the, the Tusken Raider on the your left. Let me see, is this going to... There, you can kind of... Let me push that guy back a little bit. Let me push this guy inward a little bit. Yeah, like, I'm pretty happy with how I've done the coloring and the highlighting. Uh, you know, I, the Bantha and the packages on the Bantha still need painting. The rope needs painting. The Bantha's lips and his feet and all that stuff. But the, the Tusken Raiders themselves are basically painted. I'm really happy with the highlight job I did. Uh, it's just the, the details on these guys are really good to uh, highlight. Uh, they're a little more stark on the guy on the right, but that's because he's a Legion Mini, and therefore he's a bit more fancy and uh, more detailed. Whereas the guy on the left is a old WizKids figure. Of course, I would buy every WizKids uh, Tusken Raider figure ever if I had the money. I would, uh, you know, if someone was like, oh, I've got this rare prototype, I'd be like, oh, cool, and I'd buy it and paint it. No, I actually wouldn't do that. That would be a waste of money and also kind of a bad preservation thing. I like, I like preserving media and uh, art, so... Well, I mean, I don't do that. I'm not a lost media expert. Either. But I like, you know, I like it in theory. I like when people do it, usually. As long as it's not anything fucked up. It's like, oh, here's some weird cartoon from the Philippines. Oh, cool, so let's find that, you know. And here's another thing that I haven't painted. I think this might be the... No, there's a couple more, but... You know, just a big, goofy-ass robot. Uh, he's bits from a Kinder Egg and, uh, you know, Star Wars miniature parts. I think he's got a little bit of a tiny at, -AT on him and also a Dark Trooper robot body and... Yeah, maybe when this guy gets sprayed, he'll look sort, sort of more cohesive. I think I need to chop down the fucking blaster on his left hand, though. That's, that's like, heavier than... That's, like, bigger than he is. I mean, someone thinks that's good design. But I, don't, I don't think I agree. But I really like that piece that I got from the Kinder Eggs. These will make good uh, spaceships if I ever do something with that. With, uh, you know, making little miniature spaceships that are, like... You know, uh, not 28 millimeter scale. Here is a Warcraft troll that I'm painting up as a snow troll. Uh, snow troll. Uh, I'm going to put snow on his base. It's kind of hard to make out his details because he is kind of a very dark blue uh, that I've kind of highlighted with dark blue on top of it. Let me see. Pretty basic. Well, I like it. Now, uh, here are uh, a few assorted space weirdos. This guy, who I kitbashed from uh, Frostgrave and uh, different Star Wars bits, and the right arm, but not the hand, is from a Oathmark Goblin, and the head is from a Star Wars Mini, and the hand on the right hand is from a Star Wars Mini, and the left arm and hand and torso are Stargrave. So it's just kind of like, well, God, I can see, sorry, I wasn't looking at that. Just, so I've got that guy who I'm going to turn into a gray alien. you got his compatriot here, who is a Reaper uh, Andromedan Vizier, who I've turned into a tall white alien, which I consider different from the alien Nords of my game. The alien Nords look completely human. The tall whites look like uh, grays, but pale, kind of. Maybe they have hair, like this guy. 
So these are some, uh, you know, good old alien, alien weirdos. You know, maybe they're good alien weirdos. Maybe they're freaky uh, monster people. But uh, you know, alien whites, uh, I think, in ufology are said to like trade weapons with people. So they're probably not as benevolent as like the Pleiadians. They're probably, I mean, maybe some of them are, but you know, they're kind of, kind of weird and creepy. It's just fun. I like aliens. They're fun. Yeah. And then you got uh, Space Aztec uh, Martian Plutocrat. And a blue skinned Venusian woman who is like a raider or like a hedge wizard or something. She's like a, a bandit basically. And she's going to like try and kill you and steal your stuff. Uh, so this guy on the, yeah, these are just some quick kit bashes I did. Uh, guy on the left had a Reaper pulp chronoscope body and a War Games Atlantic Aztec head. He's got a Tau sword and, well, short sword, I guess, machete or something. And, uh, the lady on the right is a whole bunch of shit. She's got a Frostgrave head. She's got a, uh, Warcraft mini body, um, her right hand, I don't remember what her right arm is from, but it's, uh, some plastic kit, her dagger at her side is, uh, Frostgrave, I'm pretty sure, and then the thing that she's holding in her robo hand, because it had to be a robo hand, because her arms are different lengths, uh, from her robo hand is a bit that broke off of, a Sisters of Battle GW thing. So this, you know, these are just wacky-ass kit bashes, you know. Because, I mean, if, if it's in space, you can just kind of do whatever. This is a, uh, old fantastic transphobes and how to beat them to death. Uh, you know, that, that old movie that, uh, came out in the 2010s. Um, it, that I, uh, I got when I was, like, a teenager or something. And, uh... My cousin used it as his minion, so I've repainted it to look more like a, a kind of androgynous vampire like he was playing. And uh, I've also got this little monkey guy that my uh, dead neighbor gave me. She was cool. Miss her. And, uh, you know, he's a cool little monkey. So I painted him up. He's got, like, it's kind of hard to tell, but he's got, like, bluish black fur. Not sure if I'm going to keep the skin tone. Uh, might make it more gray. But also might make it something more extravagant. You know, I like painting colorful monkeys. So it's very fun for me. I might want to make his fur a little more blue. Of course, he's got green eyes. I like the monkey. I think it's a good monkey. But, uh, yeah. These are pretty basic, but okay with them. And uh, now I'm going to show you a big horde of mostly... Uh, old Magic the Gathering minis that were pretty junky, pretty uh, low detail, and also that I had uh, mutilated as a teenager with bad unthinned paint jobs and uh, badly applied paint and all that. But uh, these guys I have uh, kind of salvaged as weirdo, quasi sort of dark sunny but Martian uh, quasi, uh, you know, sort of weirdo Martian raiders is how I put it, right? And one of these guys I have kit bash, not that you're seeing yet, but of the guys that you will see. Um, and these guys, these guys are minis I've had for a long time because they sold this box full of these minis for quite a low price when I was just getting into collecting miniatures. I was like, holy shit, I got to get these. Now, as you can see, the, the sculpts aren't very great, but also I kind of like what I did with them because they're just kind of they're just kind of covered in bone, and some of them have green metal, and you know just the red skin, the weird, bizarre outfits. Um, it kind of works. Now this guy over here, lady actually, she's got a an arm from Frostgrave Barbarians, the axe I think it might be from it too, but that's an axe hand chopped onto a I think a Stargrave or a, some other kind of arm. And then the head is from a Warcraft mini. So again, I just kind of scrapped together all sorts of weird barbarian shit and decided to just go wild. And as you can see, they've got mostly bone weapons, bone armor. And I'm actually going to buy, um, especially if I have the money, 
a whole shit ton of very Morrowind inspired uh, miniatures that I think I think it might have been Dragon Trapper's Lodge. Whoever did the 3D printed miniature thing for the Scourge Lands, where they've got the Ash and Alfar and all that shit. It's obviously like if you've played Morrowind and you know the building that they come with, the the terrain that they give. It's so obviously like, hey, you want Morrowind miniatures? Here you go. I mean, it's not exact, but it's like so obvious. Like the the armor, like. It, if, if you just look at it as, like, regular steel armor, it's like, okay, well, the armor's kind of generic, but if you look at it in a Morrowind guise, you're like, oh, that's chitin, oh, that's, like, bug shell, oh, that's, like, bone mold, whatever, the, however the fuck they make molds out of bone, uh, you know, oh, that's this, that's that, you know, it's, I love that shit, and so I kind of tapped a little bit into a Morrowindy feel for these with the bone and everything, but, uh, yeah, I really, I'm pretty happy with those, even if, you know, the mini sculpts aren't that great. I don't really care, because I had fun painting them, and uh, yes, the paint on some of them is cracking. That's probably because of old stuff, but it's also, I think, partially because I primed these poorly. Um, not too badly, because not all of them were cracking, but, uh, you know, I, I was kind of, I had, you know, it's snowing currently, and uh, I only have a small period of time to uh, prime anything at all. So here are some bad uh, monsters that I'm hopefully going to salvage somehow. So I tried to make uh, some sort of weird Martian alien thing based on, I think they're called the Arabucks from Pathfinder, which are like Martian uh, snow leopard deer, but I ended up making them just look weirder. Um, it could be that I just, you know, cover these in some sort of material to give them some sort of furry look, and then I just, uh, you know, call it good, uh, but I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, these are, uh, you know, basically I just took carnivorous bodies, specifically as you can see a tiger, which is actually better than the dog I used here, but whatever, um, you know, I just said, okay, I'll give them these, uh, bootleg exploded goat heads that I bought at a pharmacy, where apparently you don't need a functional sculpt to be able to sell it to children, and, uh, I just filled in the Glonko, and, yeah, so, yeah, I have these weird bootleg toys lying around. Uh, now for Lizardmen and Ratmen, then we're done. Here's a Lizardman that I painted a bit a while ago, and then stopped painting him for some reason. He's a black lizard guy. He, uh, he's not fully painted, obviously, but, uh, he will be. He's kind of a purplish, bluish, blackish. I like it. It's cool. Here are some Martian uh, space mercenaries, or, uh, or rather, Martian uh, lizard man mercenaries. So you've got this guy on the left who could easily be space cartel. You've got the guy on the right who's like a he's got a flamethrower. You know, gotta have the flamethrower. Mishmash different bits, you know, Stargrave, War Games Atlantic heads, uh, some War Games Atlantic uh, arms on the guy on the left, uh, you know, and uh, bits and pieces from all sorts of shit, you know, Stargrave, and definitely some, uh, I, would, I would guess, some, uh, what do you call it, uh, War Games Atlantic, or <laughs> Games Workshop probably is in there somewhere. Maybe just the ammo, but I could be wrong. Yeah, pretty happy with these. Pretty happy with the the paint job on this guy. He looks very plain. He looks like he could he could just as easily be a fucking uh, uh, exterminator for pests as he could be a mercenary, which is kind of funny. Uh, here are some chameleon men I painted up to be. Uh, I was going for them to be uh, the same color as their bases, basically to make it like they're blending in with the Martian soil, you know, because we all need some, some chameleon men. Um, but actually, uh, they ended up giving uh, sort of a pale, fleshy tone. Uh, the lighter shades on that were supposed to be uh, paint, like like... Uh, off-white paint, but it ends up making it look like highlights, uh, which is fine. I might put an orange wash over their skin, and hopefully it'll look, you know, distinct from the, uh, the orange on their, uh, loincloths and all that. Um, the guy on the right has a little bit of a 
Shield Wolf Battle Sisters uh, thing on his head to, you know, make him look like he's got a headdress and he's got a skull from some kit. I don't know. These are kind of a mix of Aztecs and uh, Frostgrave Tribals. Uh, mostly Frostgrave Tribals, but a little bit of Aztec in there. Definitely. As in the kits, they're not... I don't think uh, I don't think Aztecs come in uh, chameleon. Pretty sure they're all uh, humans. It'd be cool if there were chameleon Aztecs, you know. Just like it'd be cool if there were like uh, you know Jewish Bigfoot, you know. I'd be like, hell yeah, man, good for you. You know, if I was Jewish, I'd want Bigfoot to be Jewish. I'd be like, hell yeah. Same man. Bigfoot's cool. Anyways, here's some more Martian lizard men. Got a little GW skull there of some horrible creature. These are basically just the game, the War Games Atlantic Lizard Men, just straight up. These are actually some of the first ones I built uh, that have now been painted finally after a million years of not painting them. Now they're not fully painted, but they're basically painted. Uh, yeah, pretty basic paint jobs, but I'd say I'm happy with them. And now, finally, the Ratmen, and then we'll be done. So these are old Caesar's miniatures, uh, Ratmen. They're obviously supposed to be uh, fake Skaven, but uh, I'm very, I really like these. They're fun to paint, uh, you know, because, now these are Caesar miniatures, which means they're like 20 millimeter, or maybe like 15, or, you know, they're like not 28 millimeter, but because they're Ratmen, it doesn't fucking matter. Can, you know, it's like their goblin box set is another one that I think uh, miniature mashup I watched more often when I was younger. Uh, you know, he's like, oh, you can just get all these a bajillion goblins for this price. I'm like, oh, hell yeah. I didn't get the goblins, but I did get the rat men. And uh, I really like these guys. Again, when we're a Martian thing, you know, they've got bone and steel weapons. Uh, I would give some of these guys guns, but I have nothing in scale to give them guns. I guess I could maybe give them, like, a fire lance. I guess that would be easy enough to kit bash. I mean, I've already given one of them a flag. I think I might have given another one something, too, but I forget. Yeah, I think, uh, I've got a lot of these lying around. Just buying them the one time gives you a lot of them. Yeah, these guys are, these guys are fun. These guys are fun. I like these guys a lot. Anyways, can't tell this guy I painted later. Anyways, hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.